The Ford Ranger truck accounts for around 40% of all pickups that are sold in the UK. Using years of Ford truck expertise and a deep understanding of truck customers, Ford decided to share the creation of the new generation of Ranger with the people that are most important to the success of the model, their customers. That means that the new Ranger isn't only a better work truck, with a wider bed and even better off-roading capability. It's also a better family vehicle, with more safety features, comfort and commodities for passengers. Hi, I'm Tish, a local automotive journalist, and today Essex Ford have given me the pleasure of showing you around their first model to arrive in their showroom. Let's take a look at what's new. Compared to the outgoing model, the new generation Ford Ranger is more aggressive in its styling, with a wider and taller front grille, clearly inspired by the F-150 Lightning truck. But despite its commanding road presence, it's only 50mm wider, so parking and visibility will still be great. It also gets new C-Signature front daytime running lights and matching rear tail lights. Ranger is also now embossed in the tailgate. Let's start with the different engines on offer because they're important to Ranger drivers who want power but also a good level of fuel economy. On offer there's a single turbo and a bi-turbo 2 litre inline 4 cylinder diesel. The single turbo comes in two different performance levels and that delivers power, torque and fuel economy. The first of which will be important to small business owners and commercial vehicle fleets. The bi-turbo engine is a more sophisticated performance variant that customers that wanted more power but still needed to maintain that fuel economy. Customers also wanted a choice of more power and torque for towing heavy loads and extreme off-roading. So Ford have added the proven 3-litre V6 turbo diesel and developed it for the Ranger. Beneath the new bodywork is an upgraded chassis riding on a wheelbase 50 millimetres longer and a track 50 millimetres wider than the prior Ranger. A hydro-formed front end structure creates more space in the engine bay for the V6 engine, but it also opens up the front of the pickup and it allows more airflow through to the radiator, which will help to keep running temperatures low when towing or carrying heavy loads. For now, the two litre engines are available to order and the order books for the V6 will open up later this year. The Ranger has always excelled in practicality. It takes a pickup truck and makes it easy to live with for families and workmen alike. It still gets the standard features like the running boards, which make it easier for getting in and out of the truck. But Ford have also added different tweaks to make it even more practical. For instance, they had observed that on the previous generation of truck, a lot of people were using the rear tyre to climb up and access the load area. But now they've actually added a step on the back here so you can easily reach the payload without having to tread all over the tyres, which I think is really handy. As well as being an excellent commercial vehicle, many of our customers also choose to use their Ranger as a family vehicle and it works extremely well. Back here is very comfortable. I've got lots of headroom and plenty of legroom as well. I've got a couple of rear air vents as well as a USB, C and three pin charger. So loads of connectivity options. I also get a pull out armrest and the seats fold completely upwards to reveal some additional storage. The tailgate is now also lighter, so it allows for easier access. There's also a really clever new addition of a C-clamp mount, and that allows you to use the back of your Ranger as a workbench. The wheelbase has increased by 50 millimetres, and that now allows you to load a full European pallet in the back of your truck, and payload remains the same as before. A tough plastic bed liner helps to protect the steel from scratches and general damage and also provides a comfortable platform to kneel on. 
Most Ranger variants have payload numbers just shy of one tonne, whilst the entire lineup enjoys a maximum brake towing capacity of 3,500 kilograms, except for the range topping Raptor. There is also an option to add power output to the truck bed. For all options, please contact our sales executives using the contacts below. It isn't just the exterior which has received a glow up. The interior has had some vast improvements as well. The quality is now a little better and also it just feels modern and fresh. All the great things about the Ford Ranger are still in place. There's still a really good level of equipment, including a decent amount of storage under the leather wrapped armrest, two cup holders in the center console, as well as two cup holders which pop out in front of the driver and passenger. And they're strategically placed underneath the air vents. So depending whether it's a hot day or a cold day, you can keep your drinks hot and cold by using the climate control. There's also some storage up front here, somewhere which you can pop your mobile phone vertically and also somewhere which you can place your phone down on the tray. And in some of the models, this is also wireless charging. In this wild track variant, you still get that classic orange stitching that everybody knows and loves. Of course, the main thing which has changed within the cabin is this, the larger 10 or 12 inch color touchscreen. And this now hosts a whole load of different features and settings for the Ford Ranger. As well as the new touchscreen, you also have a digital instrument cluster as well. So it feels really modern. On this touchscreen, there are a ton of options that you can play around with. Some of my favorites include the 360 degree parking camera, which is optional on the bottom spec cars and standard on the higher spec. Here you can see your aerial view as well as your front view, but you can switch to see your rear view or you can even see your tow bar view if you have a tow bar fitted. You also get a new system called the zone lighting. And this is for when you're using your truck in low light. Perhaps you need to light up whilst you're camping. And here you can select different zones on either the touchscreen or the app, and this will brighten up the area around your vehicle. There's also climate control dials, which still feature physical buttons, but also some touch buttons at the bottom of the screen that do stay there permanently as well. So much easier to use than some other systems being used by other trucks. Ford engineers have moved the front wheels forward by 50 millimeters to give it a better approach angle. And they've also moved them outwards for better off-road articulation, both of which improve the off-roading experience. They've also shifted the rear suspension dampeners outward as well of the frame rails. And this gives the driver and passengers a better ride both on-road and off-road. No matter if they're carrying heavy cargo for work or just taking the family out for dinner. Despite its slight increase in size as well, it still feels very agile for such a large vehicle. And thanks to the 360 degree parking camera and lots of other assistance settings, it's a doddle to drive. And it feels much more like a large SUV than you're actually driving a truck. A new Ford Ranger designed by customers for customers. And we're absolutely certain that this is gonna be a huge hit for existing and new customers. If you did want any more information on what we've covered today or any questions about the all new Ranger, then if you contact one of our transit centers down below, they'll be happy to help. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye.